mean, a lot of stuff on the film that shows that the coach shows, but, um, you know, it's the film. The film don't lie. Could you, I, could you do that at any point? What happened? Could you do that at any point, though? Like, just do take what? Have the coaches take a bunch of film and say, I mean, this, <laughs> I mean you're going to cherry pick. I mean, the coaches are going to find something to pick at. Um, but that's what, you know, that's the one thing about it. We got to take it as positive, destructive criticism and, and go from there. And uh, I believe they want perfection from, from us. And that's what we have to strive to be. It's just perfect. Coaches ever show you good things? Yeah, they show us all the good. Some of the good well, things. That's yeah. good to know. Sometimes when they feel like it. When it's, <laughs> usually it's bad. But is this this time in particular? This seemed like it was. Well, I, it was I think it came just, with a message. I, right? I think they just want us to be better defensively. I think that's the biggest key right now. Is um, they want us to be better defensively. And then they're going to nitpick on everything. And, and I'm not mad at them. We're not mad. We're just trying to get better as a team. So we understand where they're coming from. Kyle, last year you with the bench unit was really successful. You guys seem to have found another chemistry this year with Lucas in place of Biombo. What makes uh, that unit so good, you with the four bench guys? I mean, for me and, and our, our group is, you know, no one, you know, Corey can handle, I can handle. Terrence can shoot, I can shoot, Pack can shoot. Lucas gives us a lob threat. Um, it just gives us a defensive and, and, a, and a speeder, and a faster lineup. How much does your game change when you go from that first unit into that second? Like, what? I mean, I know you're not carrying the ball up as much. But. Well, that's just one thing, and I get to, you know, I'm, I'm more of a, uh, an aggressive scorer and looking for shots more, and um, more of a, a guy who's spacing and being decoy and uh, letting those guys get their their action. And, you know, I'll, I'll call plays for other people while I'm out there, but um, for me, it's just a it's a chance to kind of rest but still be aggressive. Some of those shots, the threes that you've hit over the last couple games, 27 feet, 28 feet, 29 I'm, feet. Have you ever been more comfortable with your jump shot, more I've, confident I've, than you are right now? I've always been confident. I've just been watching a lot of Dame Lillard and uh, Steph, so just trying to keep up with them with their uh, range. Going to move the line back for the three-point yeah, shootout today? Or, uh, this I, week? I ain't getting the three-point shots. So they, they got some, they do too good of shooters. I'm just going to keep shooting long threes until I miss, which I ain't going to miss. So they might shoot me, shoot, see me shoot a 30-footer. If I miss it, then blame it on y'all. What does it, <laughs> it do for you guys on the whole to have that kind of distribution and variety of scoring last night? Well, I mean, it gives everyone um, chances to rest. And it gives everyone confidence to you know play their game. Terrence had 20, I had 20. Jamar didn't have a best, his best scoring output. But we all, everyone chipped in. So when you got a good team effort like that, it makes the, your, your energy level not have to be used as much. And everyone has a, has a good, has a good you know, game. How quick last night did you and Tamar, like you guys talk about, it, like, okay, I'm on, you're on, or you're, you might not be on tonight, he's on. How quick does that get Does that get sort of settled? And, and uh, I mean, I'm always looking for him to get his shot. I mean, he's, he's one of the top NBA scorers, so for me, I'm not worried about mine. I'm going to get mine whenever I want. I, I want to get him going. So he just missed some shots, and I was making shots a little bit. And, and I don't think it's a he's on, I'm on. We want to win games, so if we're both on, it's better. If JV's on, it's best. If Terrence is on, we don't care. Whoever, as long as we win games as a team and everyone's happy and successful, that's all we care about. His assist numbers are, are way up. I think he's had four or more nights. Does that take pressure off of you when he's moving the ball the way he is? Oh, he's getting so much attention now. It's kind of like he has to pass the ball. And, um, you know, once he passes, it makes it a lot easier for him. He passed up some open shots and then you know he that what teams are knowing he's a willing passer they kind of cheat out and he gets to the basket